We know that uh, the current evidence and research is telling us that there's a massive rise in mental health concerns in adolescents, a massive rise in anxiety disorders. And so we're seeing a global mental health crisis where an increasing level of mental health concerns, particularly in the young adolescents, that we're seeing throughout the world. One of the key questions to answer, ask is, why, why is this occurring? What's, what's going on? And I think there are a number of, of factors, a number of causes. Uh, we can talk about technology and the impact of technology, mobile phones, social media, etc. But one of the most significant causes of this increase in mental health concerns that we're seeing in, in young kids and adolescents <clears throat> is our overprotective parenting. It's, uh, it's uh, what we're seeing in schools around how we're handing out participation certificates. And so I want to talk today specifically around how we need to stop handing out participation certificates. We need to, we need, we need to uh, be allowed to keep score. I know there's a number of sports, uh, AFL, where we don't keep score uh, for kids below the age of 10. Uh, and, and I just find this, this is just, it's disabling our children. It's, it's, it's rendering our children uh, helpless. It's, it's, it's not developing resilience in our children. And we're seeing that play out now where we're seeing this increase in anxiety concerns and increase in health concerns. And it's fundamentally because we're not developing resilience in our children. And what that means, it doesn't mean we're not allowing our kids to be emotional. It's really important to be emotional. It's really important to be able to ask for help. It's really important to be, to be able to be distressed and upset about things. But we need to be able to then support our kids to be able to work through that. And we've, I fundamentally believe that we need to be getting better uh, in both in parents and our schools, in our schools, in 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 recognizing kids that are working hard, we've got to stop handing out participation certificates for kids who, who 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 are just participating. We need to be able to start recognizing that when a kid, if a child's done well, they've won the race, they're the winner. We need to start talking about winners. We need to be able to talk about you've come second, you haven't won the race. We, we, we need to actually start having the courage to have these conversations. Whether there's some sports like diving, like netball, uh, athletics, where there's very clearly a winner and a loser. Uh, we talk about nippers. Uh, nippers are a fantastic example where there's a score. There's, you, you, you win the race, you don't win the race. In flags, you get the flag, you don't get the flag. And I don't see any evidence where... It's demonstrated that that's harmful for our children. In fact, I think there's more and more evidence gathering that, in fact, by actually not keeping score, by trying to protect our children from the distress that they might experience when they lose or come second, that's far more harmful in the long term than actually allowing our children to experience failure, allowing our children to experience that they haven't won the race. We need to, as teachers and schools, uh, and, and parents start actually developing resilience in our children, assisting our children to be able to deal with the negative emotions that come with not winning, that, that need to teach our children about how to deal with frustration and with distress. It's far more important to be able to allow our children to experience the negative emotions and learn how to deal with those because that's going to set them up for future ex success as adults in, in life to come. If we simply try and remove those negative emotions from events, hoping that somehow that's going to set them up for future success and well-being, it is, it's, a false, it's a false perspective. There's no evidence to support that. So my challenge to, to parents, to, to teachers, to schools, is let's stop handing out participation certificates. Let's let's stop not keeping score. Uh, and, I'm, and those sports out there, they're not keeping score. I challenge you. Let let's actually change it. Let's start keeping score. Let's support our kids to be able to be better. Because there's a sense of achievement. There's a sense of growth. There's a sense of setting a goal and wanting to achieve the goal that comes from that. 
So my challenge to, to schools, to teachers, to parents is, is let's actually, let's start building resilience in our children. Let's start talking about winning and losing. Let's start talking about first place, second place, third place. Let's start actually keeping score on, on how they're going. My, my, uh, one of my daughters uh, is, a, is a springboard diver and it's extraordinary watching her, her diving. She's doing an amazing job at her diving. What I love about diving is two things. First of all, when in a competition, you get scored on a scale of 0 to 10. If, you're, if your dive is great, you get a good score. If your drive is terrible, you get a terrible score. And this is from kids from age of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They're getting scored on their dive. It's fantastic. The other thing I love about diving is that if you get it wrong, you hurt yourself. And so there's an immediate feedback on you haven't done that well. However, if they do the dive well, there's an immediate positive feedback of, wow, that was good. And I think we need to learn from sports like diving, like netball as well. Netball keeps score, and the kids love it. I think we need to learn from these sports that it's absolutely okay to keep score. It's absolutely okay to be able to talk about winning and losing. And in fact, that's better. It's better for our kids' resilience. It's better for assisting our children to develop the skills and the tools to be able to manage themselves and their emotions into the future. Let's stop. Let's stop using participation certificates. Let's stop just handing out certificates for every person in the class because it's now their turn. Let's stop not keeping score. Let's build resilience in our children. Thank you.